George, another contract. You'll be staying with, the, with us for at least another year. How happy are you? Yeah, um, delighted, you know. Um, it's always been something. Growing up, I wanted to come and play for Glasgow and um, to get a good chance, good crack this year. It's been, it's been a lot of fun and, um, yeah, I just can't wait for, for next year now. At the start of the season, did you expect to have played as much rugby as you have so far this season? Um, probably not, um, to be honest. I was obviously targeting the kind of November and, and this time with Six Nations for game time. Um, but I've been fortunate that coaches have really um, rewarded performances and training and things. So, um, yeah, it's been great for me to get to get as much minutes under my belt and yeah, hopefully it will continue through, through the next few weeks. Your relationship with the coach has been like, what have they said to you and have they given you work on, so have they told you what you're doing well? Yeah, you know, always um, we sit down and have one-to-ones after games and obviously Mike Blair's a big help for the, for the scrum half, so yeah, always going through stuff we can work on and we can learn from each other, so um, yeah, I mean, so far it's been, it's been mainly positive, but obviously there's there's areas of the game we need to work on and hopefully I can continue to do that. You're scoring lots of tries, is that part of the game plan? Is it that the nine should be scoring the tries or is that just the way you're playing? Um, oh, I mean, yeah, it just kind of so happens to be, if you're in the right position, um, the scrum half's a big role of us in attack is, is following the ball down the middle of the field. So um, if we're running, running support lines and, and guys are making break out wide, uh, breaks out wide, sorry, um, if the ball comes to us, yeah, it's more often than not, it's, it's a run-in, so um, it's something that's it's a huge strength for, for the scrum halves at the club, and yeah, that's where most of the tries are coming from. You'll have lots of highlights, but is there one game or one try or one moment that stands out in a Warriors shirt for you so far? Um, oh, this season, probably Nico's, well, Nico's break for next try against Leinster, that was pretty frantic phase of play, and... Yeah, it was great. It's great to have Nico back at the club and that just shows the magic he can bring out of nothing. So um, that was a pretty special moment at home, I'd say. And then your involvement in Tommy's try, you'd imagine it'll be between the two of them for try of the season? Um, maybe so far. Hopefully we can score a few more um, beauties in the, in the next few weeks. But yeah, Tommy's try was, it was great as well. It just shows the work rate of the, the guys off the ball and um, really everyone's lining up to score that so it could have been a number of people but yeah that was also pretty cool to, to pull that one out of the bag. How do you get before a game here at Scotstone? Is it nerves? Is it excitement? Um, yeah, oh, it's a mixture of both. Um, mainly excitement. I try not to get too pumped up or um, you know like thinking too much about it. I like to just kind of relax and, and look forward to games going into them but um, yes yeah, playing at home it's a massive buzz so if you can't get up for them there's, there's something wrong. And have you, have you set yourself a target? Have you said, next season I want to, want to achieve X? Um, oh, not really, to be honest. Um, just trying to take everything as it comes, one game at a time. And the fact that this year has been a real positive in terms of game time for me. Um, just if I can get as many minutes under my belt as possible and contribute well to the team, I suppose that's the, that's the main goal for me at the moment. And you're one of several young players really breaking through into the first team. Matt Smith's doing well, Matt Fagerson's getting a lot of game time. What does that say about the, the talent here in the academies in Scotland? Yeah, um, I mean, it speaks volumes for, for what the academy structure is doing. Um, yeah, like you can say, there's a, lot of, a number of guys come through this year for, for Glasgow and also at Edinburgh. So, um, yeah, it shows that, that what the, what's going on um, before the, the pro game is, is, is really beneficial and the fact that, like you say, these guys have come through and played really, really well in the, in the Glasgow shirt, um, it's massive for, for the club and it's also massive for Scotland going forward. How is it for you? There are several tens here at Glasgow. You've got Finn, there's your brother obviously, there's Adam and then Brandon as well. Do you learn different things off all of them? Are they all different players? Yeah, they've all, they've all got different um, traits to their game but they've all They've all got similar traits as well, so it's it's good getting game time with them all and and really seeing how they all tick and how I can help them tick and um, etc. So yeah, it's good. Obviously, the next few weeks we'll probably get a lot of time with Adam. So he's a really exciting player, great great on the ball, likes to run it, and which suits suits our game, suits my game as well. So that'll be exciting. It'll be good to good to get a few games with Adam over the next few weeks.